What is going on everybody? Welcome back to The Common Coder. My name is Josh and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install Node.js on both Mac and Windows. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so there are not really any hard prerequisites for this video. However, it does help if you have basic computer skills and some familiarity with the command line, especially when you start working with Node, even if you're not writing code and maybe you're using Node for some front end uh, tooling, it's gonna be helpful to be familiar with how to run commands in the command line. And we'll be using that to verify our Node installation uh, throughout this video. So these are really the only two things you need to know. And other than that, let's go ahead and dive right into learning how to install Node.js. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start on the Mac side of things. And what we're gonna do is head over to nodejs.org. And that will take you to this landing page right here where it basically says run JavaScript everywhere. So that really is the promise of Node. JavaScript historically had just been a browser-based language and Node was able to bring that to uh, essentially the server side, but you can use it to create other types of programs and various utilities that can run just on your machine or another machine. But the whole promise of Node again was to basically bring JavaScript to the server side of things and allow you to do a full stack of uh, JavaScript development. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is install Node. The easiest way to do that is going to be to click this download Node.js button. However, I do wanna point out that there is a download link up here at the top. So if I go ahead and click this download Node.js, it's going to download the installer uh, for my machine, which I'm gonna go ahead and use to install Node. Now, again, if you wanna get more advanced with the installation, you can go over to the download section and there's different ways you can install Node. You can also install various versions here. Um, you can choose which operating system you're going to be downloading the installer for or that you need the instructions for. There's the pre-built installer link, which is what we just downloaded. There are some pre-built binaries if you're comfortable with doing that kind of thing. And there's also the source code for Node itself if you wanna download the source and build it yourself or roll your own custom version of Node. Not sure why you'd wanna do that, but it is possible. Uh, and that's what all these links are for here. So again, we're gonna be using the installer. And if I go ahead and click into my downloads, I'm gonna go ahead and open that folder. And you can see that I downloaded Node version 20.16.0, which is the latest long-term support version. So on a Mac, I'm going to go ahead and click or basically double click to start the installer. And it's basically telling me that this will install Node.js version 20.16.0, and it will also install NPM. So NPM is a package manager for Node.js. It lets you download utilities and extend the functionality of Node, um, and also allows you to download dependencies and stuff into your project. So they always come together, you get Node and uh, whatever version of NPM is supported for that version of Node. So I'm gonna go ahead and click continue, go ahead and read through and accept the license agreement. Click continue, and go ahead and click agree. And then basically tells you how much space it's going to take up. It's not too big, 256 megabytes of space on the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and install this to my machine. Go ahead and click install. You'll have to provide a password. And you can see after a couple of minutes, we get this package has been installed, tells me what it installed here. And it says to make sure that my user local bin is in my path. So it should do that automatically. Just basically means that when you run the node command inside of the terminal, it should be able to find node registered from the bin folder here. So you can look where these are installed, user local bin. It's making sure that user local bin is in my path. So when I run node or NPM, it's able to find those executables. And we can verify this by opening up a command prompt. So I'm gonna go ahead and type code and then slash etc slash paths. And you can see that this brings up my paths file. And you can see that up here at the top, slash user slash local slash bin is registered in this path file. So if you don't see that there, you'll have to go ahead and add it. Probably won't let you save the file. You'll actually need to open this up as a super user or with the command sudo. So this is one way that we can verify that. Let's go ahead and close VS Code. And now I can go ahead and close the installer. I can go ahead and move the installer to the trash. And now we can verify that node has been installed by typing node dash V and we should get the printout of the version we just installed, which is 20.16.0. We also wanna verify that the NPM installation was successful. And so we can do the same thing by typing NPM dash V and we'll see that the version 10.8.1 was installed. All right, and then once that's done, you are free to start using Node. You can actually get into the Node command prompt by typing the word Node and that will bring you into a Node.js console where you can run Node.js commands. So for example, I can do two plus two and I'll get four. I can write function hello and parentheses. We'll just console.log hello world. 
All right, and that will create a function called hello. And looks like I messed something up. Oh, my function. Messed up the syntax here. It's gonna be function, hello, there we go. And then I can run the hello function and it will print out hello world. So Node.js looks like it's installed. Now let's go ahead and see how we install Node.js on a Windows machine. All right, over on my Windows machine, I have navigated over to nodejs.org. This is where we're gonna go ahead and download Node.js. And just like on the Mac, the easiest way to do this is going to be to use this download button right here that says download Node.js LTS, which stands for long-term support. Just like on the Mac, there is a download link up here on the top of the page. So if we click this, we can see that there are other ways that we can download Node. So we can use a package manager called Winget. We can use the pre-built installer, which is what we're going to download in just a moment. You can use one of the pre-built binaries, or you can actually look at the source code and compile or make a custom version of Node uh, if that's something that you're into. So I'm gonna go back and just click on the logo, which is gonna take me back to the homepage. And I'm gonna click on this download Node.js, which should download version 20.16.0. So let's go ahead and click on this. And after a moment, we can see that the download has succeeded. I'm gonna go ahead and open that folder and then I'm gonna double click on it to start the installer. All right, and so once the installer starts, it says that the set is wizard is going to install Node.js on my computer. I'm gonna click continue and accept the license agreement. It's going to install it under program files slash Node.js. And it asks me what features do I want to be installed? So it's gonna install the Node.js runtime, the core pack manager, NPM package manager, online documentation shortcuts, and add to the path. And this add to path is what's going to let us run the node and npm command inside of our command prompt. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just leave all these as is. The main things that we care about here is going to be this node.js runtime and the npm package manager. So let's go ahead and click next again. Now this screen here says some npm modules need to be compiled from C or C++ when installing. And if we wanna be able to install those modules, we need some tools like Python and Visual Studio build tools in order for those to work. So we'll go ahead and just install them up front. That way we don't have to worry about it. And finally, we have the confirmation screen. We're gonna go ahead and click install. It's going to ask me if I want to allow it to make changes to my computer. I'm gonna click yes. And after a few minutes, we'll see that the installation is successful and it's completed the Node.js setup wizard. So I'm gonna go ahead and click finish. And so now since we clicked that extra box, you can see that it says tools for Node.js native modules installation scripts, some information about what it's going to install. Essentially, it's going to install Python and some Visual Studio build tools. I'm just gonna go ahead and click any key to go ahead and continue this. It's also going to install Chocolatey to complete this installation. Chocolatey is just another type of package manager that can be used to install packages. I'm just gonna go ahead and click continue here. It's asking me if I want to allow this app to make changes. Yes, I do. And it should open up a PowerShell terminal. So Windows basically ships with two different terminals. You have the traditional command prompt, and then you have Windows PowerShell, which is a little bit more like Bash, but it's still uh, not quite the same. And this might take a couple minutes, but you can see the status of various things that it's doing while we're waiting for the install to finish. And this does take a few minutes, so don't be worried if it seems like it's taking a long time. Uh, it is downloading all the things that it needs to, which like I said, does take a couple minutes to do. All right, and so after quite a bit of time, that PowerShell window should close and that should mark the end of the installation. So don't worry if it takes a really long time, probably took close to five, maybe 10 minutes for it to install for me. So just hang in there. The last bit installs some Visual Studio features, which does take a little bit of time. So once it's done, uh, we can go ahead and verify our installation. So what we need to do is open up a command prompt. So we'll go ahead and hit the window button Go ahead and search for apps. We'll type in command and we're gonna go ahead and open the command prompt. All right, and once we have the command prompt open, we'll go ahead and type node-v and you can see if this returns the version that we just installed, which as of this recording was version 20.16.0, you know that node has been successfully installed on your machine. We also want to double check that NPM was installed as well. So we're gonna say NPM-v and that should print out the NPM version that was installed, which is 10.8.1. And just like we did with the Mac, we should be able to jump into a node console or a node terminal by typing node. And you can see it says, welcome to node.js version 20.16.0. And from here I can type a couple JavaScript commands. So I can say two plus two, and that should print out four. If I just use the string hello, it should print out the word hello, so on and so forth. All right, and with that, we have installed Node.js on our Windows machine. And this process should be the same regardless of which version that you're using. So in all versions of Windows, you're gonna download the installer, run it, and then verify in the command prompts whether or not it was installed successfully. 
All right, and that is going to go ahead and conclude this tutorial on how to install Node.js on Mac and Windows. As always, thank you so much for coding along with me today. If you liked this video and found this information valuable, please leave me a like down below. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing. We're going to be learning a lot more about Node.js, web development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and everything else in between. So if that's what you're into, I would love to have you along for the journey. All right, well, until next time, be sure to stay curious, never stop learning, and I will see you all in the next video.